Hello everyone, Cthulhu Luigi here. Let's uh get back from where we left off on the first day at 2011. Okay, the owl says you have saved that owl statue. Do -do -do -do. Anyway, recording things while um in the midst of having a million things open my computer without restarting in ages is a good idea, right? Oh well, the most problem it cause is minor lag and it looks like it's not even doing that much. One time it was really weird, Audac er, Audacity was open and I did something or other to piss it off so it was recording at like half speed but it made my voice all sped up and like slightly off pitch and it was weird anyway. I can't remember if there's anything else I even can do at this point. Basically I just need to wait around here for ever. Yeah, anyway, it's really up to you if you'd rather have an easy and boring thing, or a easy-ish and less boring thing. But this upcoming minigame can, and, well, it can and is affected by the flow of time, so... Effect. Anyway, uh... Basically, I just need to be sitting around for a few hours. Might speed it up if I can't find anything entertaining to do. I'm very glad I got that dog racing out of the way. And hopefully by this, or well, definitely by this point, I have uploaded those as bonus videos. If you are desperate for YouTube video content that is not entertaining at all, hopefully you enjoyed that. Might as well break these open because I totally have things I can do with money and arrows and magic pots right now. Yeah, uh, my audio can't stay running for a entire you got an item jingle, but as far as I can tell, that never really means anything for the finished product. If that happened to change all of a sudden, that would be a bit problematic, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the emulator crashing is basically the worst thing that could happen here, and I'd say I'm not doing anything to overload it, but... I didn't really do anything that bad the first time. I guess Snowhead's main room is a pretty big room, and Goron punching seems to always sort of slow down the game. I think it's too complicated for it. And I probably like hit the wall and the snowball at the same time or something. I don't know. No, it was in mid punch, so I don't know what would have caused that, but I just hope it never happens again. That's the first time in this entire playthrough, or rather two playthroughs, that it happened. So hopefully it will be an isolated incident, and if not, Luckily, the cycle system makes it so I don't have to redo all that much, although if it saved like a normal game, I wouldn't have to redo anything at all, but I don't care. The cycle system makes it more interesting. I'd willing to sacrifice practicality for interest. Anyway, this is probably not all that fascinating, but meh. Now, if you recall, we trained on Epona, who is now mysteriously missing because she exists in hammer space to run from a couple feet away from Link whenever you play Epona's song if you're trying to get over a gate for some weird reason. Actually, I think she stays where you last left her, which would probably be at the Goron Brothers Ranch or something. But anyway, um, you're technically supposed to, I guess, use her for this upcoming mini challenge, but it's really kind of pointless because you're shooting arrows as the training may have implied and shooting arrows is too hard when you're moving and if you're gonna be stationary bunnyhood really I mean I guess if you're running from place to place you don't I mean if you stand here you can pretty much hit absolutely everything and they still move slowly even when you haven't played the song a double time. Anyway, only about a hour and a half left. You can actually walk into this area while the aliens are about to be coming. And you can still get the bottle from it, but I don't think you get opponent's song. I know this because of the tool assisted speedrun I watched yesterday of this. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh do 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 do. One o'clock in the morning. I could see what this guy has to say, but instead I'll just smack it. Funny how the gossip stones know. I guess they're counting down to the end of the world, probably, but I also find it interesting that 
It's really more defined by the happy mask salesman having to leave. And I assume he's waiting like extra long time for Link and it's like three days times however many full cycles you went through. He waited for you because he seems to remember you and everything. I don't know, this game actually does have a pretty complex plot, fun to analyze, and oh boy, half of this part has already been spent pointlessly is the word I'm looking for. Anyway, here's Romani, or I don't know how to pronounce anything. If I have a map, yep, the map is quite helpful here. They come from behind the barn, too. That's sort of misleading, considering they come from behind the house, and there's only one of them, but... Anyway, this cutscene kind of freaks me out a good amount. I think it starts at, like, 2.30 or something, and then goes to 5.30... Yep. That's a little weird. Their ship... I mean, I know this is N64 limitations more than everything else, but it's sort of freaky how it's a... Yeah, it starts playing this gooey music, and... Yeah, that's unsettling in my book. And the concept is a bit freaky. Anyway, you can see where all they are on the map. They respawn pretty quickly, so... You basically just need to know where they're going to be coming from. Luckily, that's the only one that really comes from a weird place. The rest you can pretty much gun down with no problems. Okay, I don't know why he did that. Yeah, most of them are really far away from the barn when they load, so... You have to shoot them down a couple times, and others are closer, but you can shoot them down too, and the dog also runs towards whichever is the closest, I believe, if any of them get within dangerously close range, and I always find this too confusing because the map is in a weird orientation compared to where you are, and it's not always obvious which ones are where, and which ones are close, and which ones aren't close, and... STUPID DOG! I don't know why I thought I could Z-target it, because I know I can't, but... meh. These are also pretty big ghosts, although... For what it's worth, a lot of things are bigger in this game than they were in Ocarina of Time, considering you fought a lot of things as Adult Link only, and Adult Link is, like, friggin' huge compared to Baby Link here. Anyway, it's almost sunrise, and I'm doing this badly. Hopefully there are none from angles I don't see. Don't think so. And yeah, they drop arrows too, so it's really not a problem. Okay, I can see the sun coming up, and oh gosh, I'm going to need to get... Okay, this faggot of arrows has 32 sticks in it, which is pretty generous. That would completely fill up the standard quiver, and definitely does enough to fill me up right here. I think they might start getting faster, they might start getting more intimidating as I start losing my reserve, but okay, it's only 515, that's really easy. It might be... I mean, it might be more intimidating, your nerve might be worn down if you played the inverted song of time, but they would be moving a friggin' crawl, so it doesn't matter. We did it. What do you mean, we? You just hold your bow with no arrows, and cows are giving me thanks, and... Oh god, I don't want to put my hand on my hip and take a big gulp and wave at the camera, and... Yeah, Romani is a weird character. That's okay, because weird characters beat personality-less characters. You know, I'm surprised that went so uneventfully, uh, there were at least a couple close calls in my practice run, although that might be why I was practicing. Anyway, um, I think playing the song a double time probably would have been faster than just waiting around here, but anyway, they wake up at 6, and then as a reward for not having her sister get an anal probe and whatnot, um, you can ride along with her to deliver milk to Clock Town, which you may or may not be able to do anyway. I actually have no idea one way or the other, but... Anyway, that's a nice shot of Woodfall, apparently. Why is Woodfall Death Mountain? It confuses me. Anyway, it's nice to hear the Lawn Lawn Ranch music again, or a Pona song, or whatever you want to call it. Instead of the creepy alien music. <laughs> I mean, that's not even explained by the events of Majora, like a lot of the other weird happenings in this, or 
events Majora happened. I don't know what word I was even looking for there, but you know what I mean. It wasn't caused by Majora like a lot of other crap in this game. It just sort of happened because, like, Termina is a cursed land or something. Bit freaky in my book. And I wonder if the sun actually moves like it does in Ocarina of Time. Yes, I'm pretty sure it does, except now it's rainy. Or, yeah, yeah like rain. And in 45 minutes, they will rouse themselves and get out of bed. And I don't think I actually have to be doing anything around here until, like, 6 p.m., but worth sticking around anyway so you can see the text, I guess, because I'm totally not skipping through everything. Although it really doesn't matter because I will be doing this again to get the alternate reward. 